Hey students, all right, we are here in Digital Science Notebook Part uh, 1. And this week, so we're doing something new. You'll notice you're going to see some, oops, sorry, you're going to notice you're going to see some audio included tabs in your assignment because we will be using, these have Pear Deck in them. So anytime you see this audio included, um, the text on the page can be read to you if you click it. All right, so again, so this week we are going to be previewing an article that we'll be using in class on Thursday and Friday for a literacy summative assessment. So your learning target is going to, to preview the article and you'll know you have met the target when you have completed the two pair deck activities that I have included in this slideshow. Um, here is what a preview of what the summative is going to ask you to do. Um, basically, you're going to read a passage and you're going to make a claim. The passage is going to describe an area and you're going to make a claim about whether or not that area is located on a windward side of a mountain or a leeward side of a mountain. You're going to provide textual evidence that supports your claim and then you're going to use reasoning. You're, you're going to use what you learned about windward and leeward sides of mountains to explain how the evidence you picked supports the claim that you make. Uh, here's just a preview, or I mean, here's a review of what we learned about uh, windward and leeward sides of the mountain. Okay, again, we will be doing this in class on either Thursday or Friday, depending on which day you come to science. For right now, we're just going to preview the article that you will be using. Um, so again, you can hit this little audio included button, or you can just read the article to yourself if you want. So this is the article we'll be using. Right now, what I would like you to do the, for your first read is to underline any words that you don't know. So read this and using Paradox, underline any words that you don't know. All right. Uh, then we, when you go to the next page, you're going to read the article again or uh, have it or have, hit this button and have it read to you. And this time I want you to underline any sentences that reference how much precipitation, the rain or snow that the area receives, that the area that's being described here receives. So anything that might give you a hint about how much rain or snow or any precipitation the area gets, underline that sentence. Okay, so those are the two activities I want you to do. Uh, when you're done, you can reflect, read this learning target again, reflect on it, and then you can turn uh, this notebook in. All right, let me know if you have any questions.